Hi, I'm Nick. I'm a developer advocate at IBM. Today I'm going to show you how we can document our APIs using DocuSaurus and OpenAPI. I have here a simple Node Express application that we can get a list of notes and add notes to that list. The first thing that we're going to do is add DocuSaurus to our project. We can do that by running npx docusaurus init at next init docs, which is the name of our project, and classic, which is the theme that we'll use. Once that finishes running, we can just cd into docs and run yarn start. Once that finishes running, we can go to localhost 3000 to see our new documentation site. Uh, it has a nice splash screen and a nice docs page with uh, markdown created docs and uh, even a blog and link to your GitHub if you want. Uh, but what we want to do is add an API section that has our API documentation. So. What we're going to do is add a plugin. We can do that by running yarn add docusource-plugin-openapi. While that's running, I'm going to go to docs, docusource config, and we're going to add the plugin config. So right above presets, I'm going to paste in this snippet here, uh, plugins, and it's the Docusaurus plugin open API that we just installed. It's pointing to an open API path, uh, which is just an open API JSON file, which we don't have yet, but will eventually be generated. Uh, and then a proxy that's proxying localhost 3000 to localhost 4000. Another thing we need to add is a link on the nav bar to point to our new API page. We can do that by scrolling up to the nav bar settings and add a new item. I'm going to add it right above blog. It's going to go to API, active base pass API, give it a label of API all caps and we're going to want it positioned to the left. So we can go ahead and save that. Now that we have our DocuSaurus set up, we're going to go back to that Express app that we had. Our DocuSaurus project expects an openapi.json file. We could write that file ourselves, but instead we're going to use a library called OpenAPI Comment Parser. This library lets us write comments on top of our functions and it generates the OpenAPI spec for us. Let's start by annotating this uh, get notes function right here. So I'm going to start a, a doc comment. And I'm just going to do get notes. And we're going to add a response 200 OK. Now we have one of our endpoints partially documented. Before going any further, let's see how this all integrates together with DocuSource. Back in our root directory, not our DocuSource project, we're going to do a yarn add d for dev dependency and open API comment parser. And this is the library that's going to do the parsing of our comments. I'm going to add a watch script to our project that uses NodeMon to watch YAML and JS file extensions. And when any of those files changes, it's going to run the OpenAPI comment parser looking in our source folder for any comments. And it's going to generate this OpenAPI.json file and put it into our docs project. 
And after all that's done, it's going to run node source index.js to rerun our server. Let me go ahead and save that. You can do yarn watch, and it'll start watching our project. And you should see that uh, our openapi.json file popped up. I'm going to add another terminal window and cd into docs. And then we're going to run yarn start to start up our docusource project. Once that finishes running, we can go back to localhost 3000 and we should see our updated documentation website with this new API tab with our API. And then here's our, our git notes endpoint that we made. Now there's this big missing summary thing and there's a couple other things we need to fix, but we have the basics up and running. So first things first, let's fix the big missing summary by adding summary list all notes. You might notice some red squiggly lines appearing and that's because we have some linting being done. Uh, and then we're also going to add another tag called tag. And we're going to tag it notes. This organizes the endpoints into nice sections in our UI. We're also going to add a YAML file. You can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it notes.yaml. And inside we're going to add a tag for notes, which is the notes tag that we created on our uh, endpoint just now. We're also going to add this service URL. This is going to send any requests in the UI to this localhost 3000 proxy, which will then send it to the right place on our localhost 4000 server. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And now if we go back to localhost 3000, we should see list all notes, a nice new summary. The section tabs on the side change to notes. And now if we run execute, we should get an empty array back. Let's add another comment for this post request. So we're going to do post notes. And we're going to get a warning here. At least one response is required. So we're going to add response 200. Okay, uh, and you can see all of the documentation on all the different tags you can use and much more complicated examples on uh, the OpenAPI comment parsers GitHub, which I'll link. We're going to also add this to the tag notes. And we're going to add a summary. Um, let's call it create a note. We can also add a description. Create a new note. You can also have a markdown, so let's just like make this note bold. Um, and then we're going to do at body content. Uh, we're going to want this to be a string. And the content type is going to be text plain. And we're going to make it required. Body required. Go ahead and save that. Then if we go back to localhost 3000, 
there we have our new create a note section with the required body. I'm going to go ahead and type make video cloud open API for our to-do list. Click execute. We get an OK response. And if we go back to our list all notes, so you click execute. Now I see this new, new one here. And it generates a little code snippet for us. So let's type in do homework. And copy this code snippet and then we can paste it into our terminal. Now we can go back and check out our list all notes endpoint. Now we have our do homework. And aside from just curl, we also have a node, go, and Python tab out of the box. All of this can be configured in the docusaurus config, adding other languages or removing these languages. And that's all I have for today. I hope this video showed how easy it can be to generate documentation for your API. For more information on how to use OpenAPI Comet Parser, check out github.com slash b dash travels slash openapi dash comment dash parser.